The Senate Joint Committees on National Planning and Finance prepared the 2021 to 2023 MTEF and FSP documents to pave way for the presentation of the 2021 national budget by President Muhammadu Buhari on Thursday. Chairman of the Joint Committee, Senator Solomon Adiola, while presenting over 20 recommendations, says the federal government has a revenue target of 7.89 trillion naira out of the total proposed expenditure of 13.0 trillion naira. The committee recommends that the projected GDP growth rate of 3.0% be approved. Five, the committee recommends that the projected inflation rate of 11.95 be approved. Six, the committee recommends that the fiscal deficit estimate of 5.19 trillion, not 5.16, 5.19 trillion, including that of GOEs, as earlier stated, these GOEs this time around, both their assets and liability have been taken over and are part of the fiscal estimate that will be presented before the National Assembly tomorrow. The Senate also approved a fiscal deficit of 5.19 trillion naira, statutory transfers totaling 484.4 billion naira, debt service estimate of 3.12 trillion naira, and an approved sinking fund of 220 billion naira. In the MTEF, the Senate approved a total borrowing of 4.28 trillion naira, while approving also an exchange rate of 379 naira to one US dollar, while approving 40 US dollars per barrel of oil. The expenditure is made up of a total recurrent expenditure of 5.66 trillion naira, and personnel costs of ministries, departments, and agencies is set at 3.05 trillion naira. The capital expenditure is set at 3.58 trillion naira with a special intervention of 350 billion naira. The Senate leadership is proposing a merger of ministries, departments and agencies to further cut the cost of governance. The issue of revenue, the issue of debt and the issue of expenditure, which have been highlighted by Senator Kwari. But we don't just sit down this time, get the budget, get the MTF out and then go back to sleep. I think we have to sit down so that we can assist the political, fiscal and monetary authorities of this country with an advice about how some of these challenges can be met once and for all. The cost of governance is high, and it's not about the cost of governance. Somebody will say, reduce the, the money going to the National Assembly. There's no money in the National Assembly. The, the budget of the National Assembly is, is just um, uh, 125, 28 billion. We need to have a holistic look at, holistic and realistic and practical uh, way of considering how we can reduce uh, agencies and cost of running uh, those agencies that will survive. The leadership is also asking Senate committees to increase their oversight functions and ensure that revenue generating agencies meet their targets of boosting revenues into the Federation account. Somna Sambu, Arise News.